Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video where we will be discussing past year question for the year of 2020-2021. Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss question 2 involving chapter 2 atomic structure. Question A, calculate the energy emitted and the wavelength of the spectrum line when electron move from n equal to 6 to n equal to 3. State the series and electromagnetic region of the spectrum of the line. So actually this part we have three questions. Okay, so this is question involving 2.1 prosthetomic model where there's uh, some formula that you have to memorize. So these are all the formulas which is uh, the energy at the energy level is equal to this one. Delta E, uh, the energy difference or when the electron fall uh, using this formula where the RH for these two formula, the RH must be 2.18 exponent negative 18 joule. Okay, so how um, to make sure that is the correct um, right but constant? Check the unit lah. Uh, since this is delta E energy, the unit must be joule. Okay, besides that, the energy difference, or so we call it as photon. Okay, from that, we can calculate the wavelength and the frequency by using delta E is equal to HC over lambda. Where H is plain constant, C is your speed of light. You can refer back to the list of constant over wavelength. Or the delta E is equal to HV, where V is your frequency. Again, H is your plain constant. Okay, and the last but not least, the formula that you have to memorize is 1 over lambda equal to RH. In this case, your right book constant won't be 2.18 exponent negative 18 joule. Okay, based on your list of constant, there's two right book. So this one, you're going to take the unit per meter. Because remember, 1 over wavelength. So that's why per meter lah. Okay, and the value is different as well. 1.097 exponent 7. Okay, besides the difference in like um, right book constant, the difference is that must be 1 over n1 square minus n2 square. In this case, okay, it must be a smaller minus a bigger value. In this case, initially, Delta E must be the energy difference when electron fall. So initial must be a bigger value. So for example, this is 7. Then the final might be 6, 5, 4, any of the value lah. It means that the final is the smaller one. The initial is the bigger one. But for the one over wavelength, uh, it's completely different lah. Uh, this one must be smaller minus the bigger one. So not only the formula that you have to memorize, you also have to memorize the lemon balmer passion bracket fun series. So how to memorize it is either lima baby pergi beli pampers ataupun lemon balik pasar break putus. Okay. So get back to the question. So question asks for calculate the energy emitted. So energy emitted, so the delta E lah. Uh, for electron when it move from n equal to 6 so to n equal to 3 so what does it mean is that the electron will fall from n equal to 6 to n equal to 3 so when it fall the energy is produced in the form of light okay in the form of light where we call it as photon where we will, we can calculate the value to be the delta e lah so which formula that we're going to use we're going to use this one delta e is equal to rh initial minus Final, where the initial, again, the higher energy level. Final is your lower energy level. The RH is your uh, right but constant, where the unit must be in joule, since this is delta E. Okay, so once you substitute the values, you will get your delta E is to be negative 1.82 exponent negative 19 joule. So that's the first part of the question lah. Energy emitted means that energy produced. Okay, or energy release. So that's why the value will get negative to show that the energy is released. The second one is to calculate the wavelength of the spectrum line. So here we get the delta E. Okay, so wavelength, as we can see, there's two formula using wavelength. It's either this one, Hc over lambda, or 1 over lambda. Okay, so if you want to use this one, because we already got our delta E. Okay, so we're going to just substitute. Again, H is a plan constant. Refer back to the list of constant. And then C is your speed of light. Here, 3 exponent 8. Here, 6.63 exponent negative 34. Okay. However, when you substitute the value, please be mindful that when you calculate the wavelength using this formula, even though the delta E here is negative, this one you don't have to put the negative value. Lah. The negative just to show that the energy is being released. 
okay so for this one you have you don't have to put the negative because this one blank constant is a positive value the wavelength uh, length time apa lagi memang value dia will always be positive uh, so that's why we don't have to put negative here lah okay so then you will get your um wavelength to be 1.094 exponent negative 6 meter okay. okay again length so that's why the unit is meter lah since the question does not mention specifically in which meter uh, so kita ambil ni je lah kalau dia minta in nanometer uh, nanometer it means that exponent negative 9 uh, exponent negative 9 maksudnya 1, 2, 3 uh, another 3 lagi ataupun I'm just going to put it here or it would be 1094 exponent negative 9 meter or 1094 nanometer Okay, if the question did ask for nanometer, then kita jawab yang macam ni lah. Since does not mention anything, so ini pun diterima. So, that's the second part of the question lah. First, energy. Second, the wavelength. Okay, so for example, if you want, you want to use this one, you said macam takut confused whether you want to put the negative or the positive, you can also use this formula. But then delta E memang kena guna ni lah. Okay, so for example, if you calculate the 1 over wavelength, again, this case, n equal to 2 must be a bigger one than n equal to 1. This case, 3 square minus, sini yang kena jadi 3, sini yang jadi 6. Okay, so uh, based on the calculator on my left hand side, this is the uh, calculation if I use my uh, 1 over lambda formula. So again, rh must be a different value. Okay. And then, uh, in this formula, delta E, uh, bigger minus a smaller one. Okay, initial minus final. But using this formula, it's completely different lah. It's a swap. 3 squared minus 6 squared. Okay, uh, then you get the answer to be the same one. 1.094 exponent negative 6 meter. Okay, uh, so that's the second part of the question. Uh, the question haven't finished yet. Ada lagi soalan dia. Okay, next part. State the series and electromagnetic region of the spectrum. So, series, so how do we know the series? We refer back to the lower energy level or the ground state. So, here is 3. Uh, so, ingat, Lehman balik pasar break putus ataupun 5 baby pergi beli pampers. Which one is the third one? Uh, so, pasar ataupun pergi. So, what is pasar? Pasar is our passion series. And then for the electromagnetic region, uh, this one you have to memorize lah. Kalau balma ataupun yang balik ni must be visible. Okay, this one. Okay, just gonna write down. Lyman ni yang um, ultraviolet UV. This one visible. Visible sometimes in any color lah. Macam yang sekarang ni. In our daily life adalah visible. Yang this three is must be infrared. Uh, passion break. Fine. Nah, so, passion series ni, it is in infrared region. Okay. So, that is the solution for question A. Okay. Question B. An electron has the following quantum numbers. N equal to 3. L is equal to 2. Identify its orbital. Draw the spatial orientation for all the possible orbital. So, what does it mean by N equal to 3. L equal to 2. Remember that L equal to 0 means that it is in S orbital. L equal to 1 is P orbital. L is equal to 2 is D orbital. Okay. So, uh, the question did give us the N equal to 3. So, L equal to 2 it means that D. So, identify the orbital. So, the orbital is 3D. Uh, 3D orbital. Okay. Next part of the question is... Draw the spatial orientation of the possible orbital. So, spatial ni maksud dia apa? Spatial ni same meaning as the space lah. Uh, what is the orientation in space? So, orientation ni goes back to our M value. Okay, back to our M. So, when L is equal to 2, our M uh, could be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So it mean that it means that uh, for the d orbital in orientation there's five possibilities lah since we have these five values. Okay? So here it mentioned that draw the orientation ni spatial orientation. So it means that we have to draw the d orbital. Okay, so again s orbital means that it is spherical. If p orbital is in dumbbell, if d orbital is in clover leaf 
So for G for D orbital, that's five. So it means that we have to draw five. But then again, how to draw it? First thing first, uh, I'm gonna draw the axis itself. So we have our x axis, we have our y axis, we have z axis. Okay, so again for the d orbital, there's five possibility. But then again, I would like to start with the one with the x square minus y square. And the dz square why because the orbital is directly on the axis okay so for the dx square minus y square 3dx square minus y square well, i would like to start with this one because it means that the orbital is directly on the axis on the y axis and on the x axis okay so this is the first shape 3dx square minus y square Okay, the next shape, where the orbital is directly on the axis, is 3dz square. So, the z square means that the orbital is directly on the z. Okay, and then we have to shade it out to show that it is in 3D. And then the difference for this z square ni, dia macam ada donut ni. So, macam dia ada, dia ada chin chin dengan our orbital. Okay, so that's two. Remember the orientation, we have five. So what's the other three? So the first possibility is 3DXY. So what does it mean is that the orbital must be between X and Y. So here is my uh, X and Y. Here is my X. Here is my Y. Okay, so the in between these two. The next shape is the uh, directly since this is xy so it means that, that the another orbital must be directly on the z axis so here is your 3d xy next possibility is 3d y z so this is y axis this is z axis so your orbital must be in between in between okay so this is only your dumbbell next must must be clover so another one is directly on the axis that is not here X kan? So that one will be the uh, next orbital. Okay, last but not least is the X3, the XZ. So which one? So this is our X, this one is our Z. Okay, so our orbital must must be between X and Z. And another one is directly on the Y axis. So here it mentioned that I'll uh, draw the special orientation for all the possible. So since they asked for the all possible, so we're gonna draw all lah. This one is where I've drawn where it is fixed axis. For example, um, there are certain people that are comfortable with the fixed shape. So much so the, uh, you know that you have to draw the um clover leaf. But what about the axis? Okay, so I could I could show to you how we're gonna draw it. So uh, if you want to draw it in terms of the fixed um shape or the fixed cover leaf it's fine okay so i know that there's three possibility again the x y the x y the y z or the x z okay in this case i'm gonna draw the fixed orbital so first what i'm gonna draw is i'm gonna draw axis uh in between all of these uh loops okay so again the first possibility i want to draw is 3d x y Okay, so the axis, it means that uh, the loop is must be between X and Y. So, I'm just going to draw here. This one is my X. This one is Y. It is inter interchangeable. If you want to draw here Y, this one is X point, it's fine. Okay, but then we have another one more axis. Uh, the other axis, uh, it too must be go through the orbital directly. Lah. Okay, so this one is our Z. Okay, next we're going to start with... 3dxy, 3dxz. So it means that our axis here must be our uh, x and z. So another axis that go through the orbital itself is y. Last but not least is 3dyz. So it must be between y and z axis. Okay, so the axis that must go through is our, in this case, our x axis. So, uh, I've shown you two ways of drawing the D orbital uh, in between the axis itself. It's either, what's the difference? This one is the fixed axis. The axis is maintained. So, you just have to draw in between. This one, you draw the shape first and then uh, you manipulate the axis itself. Uh, both is fine. Both is the same answer. But make sure, since this is for the all possible orbitals, since we know it's 3D, then uh, you must include the number 3 in front of your all the orbitals itself lah.
Okay. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, the solution for the question 2 PSPM 2020-2021.